In recent years, game auctions have become an accepted and legitimate method of trading live wild game in Southern Africa. As more and more land is being set aside for conservation projects, established reserves are finding themselves in a great position where they can supply new farms and reserves with animals in order to re-establish populations where they once existed. Here we are, Eastern Cape Game Auction, at uh, the Game Reserve. Game farm owners from all over the country are arriving to buy animals for their farms and reserves and to network with other people in the industry. It's also an opportunity to share ideas on conservation and animal management. And uh, what we can tell you is obviously that they're around about seven to eight years old. I promise you right now there are no old bulls here. Some of them, in fact, all of them haven't even hardened their bosses yet. We still think that they're going to get even bigger than they are. Right. Auctioning animals means that the price is set by the market and the demand for certain animals. As conservation has become a very viable farming option over the last 10 years, so too have the prices increased. Everyone eagerly speculates what price big animals such as buffalo and rhino will fetch at the sale. And this year, the record prices were 192,000 rand each for a breeding group, group of buffalo and an incredible 795,000 rand for a white rhino bull. One of the most challenging parts, and possibly the most important part of, part of this whole operation, is actually darting the animals and getting them back to the boma where they can then be transported to their new homes. A big emphasis is placed on the safety of the animals. In the chopper behind me is a very experienced pilot whose job it is to get as close to the animal as possible, as well as a veterinary surgeon who has an air rifle. And he uses to mobilize the animal and then follow up. As soon as the animal's down, he'll land and make sure that the animal's safe, breathing correctly and uninjured. Okay, he's just gone down. Uh, he's lying uh, 20 meters left of the road. Once the animal has been darted from the helicopter, it takes approximately five minutes before the drugs take action and it is safe to approach. The dart is removed and the animal is loaded onto a truck and speedily brought to the holding area. Moving live animals of this size is not an easy task, and is not one to be taken lightly. Not only is there potential danger to the capture team and the animal, but the expense of the helicopter drugs and staff means that it needs to be done right the first time. Once the vet has checked that the animal is in good health and has not sustained any injuries, he administers an antibiotic to the dart site and then injects an antidote to the sleeping drug. It does not take long before the animal is awake in its pen. From there it will be transported to its new home and released once again into the wild. Ooh.